Throughout the Philippines each year, millions of small business owners, mostly women, face the same predicament. Where can they borrow money to grow their businesses and improve their lives? Karina Ganado and her husband needed $1,100 to buy food processing equipment for a new type of chicken roll they were making. I don't want a handout. I have a good product and I'm proud of it and I know I could sell more. For decades, most rural banks in the Philippines wouldn't lend to small entrepreneurs like Karina, people with little or no collateral. Making matters worse, most of the money they could be lending came from government programs. When you're dealing with government money, people don't treat it seriously. The borrowers are slow to repay it, the banks are slow to collect it, and money simply starts to dry up. So the Philippines turned to a groundbreaking project in these poor rural areas, one that would transform the banking system here. A unique effort from USA, the U.S. Agency for International Development. One that's expanded and succeeded in ways no one could have imagined. This project has been the most effective intervention that we have seen in enabling our community banks to deliver quality financial services to the low-income people. From the very start, USAID encouraged the banks to get away from lending government money. To make this sustainable, banks no longer could depend or should depend on outside funders. They needed to work with the local communities. Today we have the three target markets, which is... That meant training banks on the need to attract new depositors, however humble. Getting people to take savings from the family coin jar, often the equivalent of just three or four dollars a month, and put it in the bank. Soon, those new accounts started to add up. Banks had a new pool of money and began lending it in a very different way. The project showed us that you don't have to focus just on collateral. They taught us how to do background check and credit investigation, that you can in fact lend to these small enterprises and do it prudently. Banks were soon taking in more deposits and providing more loans than ever before. Businesses and whole communities began to flourish. But that, it turned out, was just the beginning of this unusually ambitious effort. We came up with one idea after another to help rural banks reach low-income clients with a range of new financial services they never thought possible before. The project devised a unique mobile banking system by linking small community banks with major cell phone companies. Tony Arreo can now deposit and withdraw money or send it to family and friends with a simple text message from the middle of his rice field. It's very easy. Uh, it saves me time and money. Next, the project worked with government regulators to allow the banks to team up with insurance companies so that for the first time, hundreds of thousands of poor Filipinos could finally buy life insurance. I haven't seen a project that have involved so many stakeholders that have benefited so many. The project went on to help rural banks design the first home financing loans for low-income Filipinos so they could build or remodel their homes. This landmark project has redefined what is possible in the world of community banking and the working poor. Called the Microenterprise Access to Banking Services, or MABS, the project is helping transform 1,300 bank outlets, attract 900,000 new savings accounts, initiate 3 million new small business loans worth nearly $1 billion. Many projects come and go. They have not really altered the way business is done. Uh, this project is different because it is changing the way people behave, the way banks behave in terms of delivering services. As for Karina, she finally got her loan and bought that food processor. Then she got a second loan to buy a delivery truck. Soon, there were five delivery trucks and enough business to hire 56 full-time workers. This has changed my life and changed the community. And it happened because a small bank was willing to work with us. The bank is now a real part of the community. And the community is a real part of the bank. 
that makes us all stronger.